welcome back to the Happy Couple channel. We are excited to see you. Today's video is on communication techniques and how those can be used to save your marriage or any relationship, really. For sure. The first point in any communication is the person that you're trying to communicate to ready to receive your communication. Yeah. If someone's got their head buried in their work or they're deep in some other conversation or they're reading and they're crying because there's a sad scene in the book, chances are if you try to just like throw out a question or interrupt what they're doing, they're not gonna receive that communication with as much joy and presence as you might be looking for. So just make sure, are they ready to receive it? Simple. Next thing is be present in the conversation. Like be there, don't have your phone, don't have alerts popping up all the time, don't look at other things, don't stare off, you know, just be there with the person having the conversation. It's kind of frustrating when you're trying to tell somebody something important and they're doing something else. Like you could be like, no, 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 I'm listening, but you're like they're scrolling. Yeah, and you're like, no, no, but, I, but I'm listening. And you're like, no, 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 you're not listening because I'm trying to tell you something and this, this whole thing, eyes. Eyeballs. That way. Pointed at. Yeah. So be there, be present. The next point is pretty obvious but can get overlooked very easily is if someone is communicating to you, listen. Oh. Just be there, open your ears, just listen. Don't wait for an opportunity to jump in and cut them off or whatever. Like, listen to what they have to say and then go from there. Just remember guys, open your ear holes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the next point is acknowledge. You need to actually acknowledge the person for what they're saying. They need to know that that they're heard, right? So when they say something, you need to acknowledge them, but but make sure you don't skimp on the acknowledgement. Sometimes somebody will say something and then be like, yeah, yeah, so but, 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 and you wanna say something else. It's like, just wait, just literally acknowledge like, okay, good, I got that, or I totally understand, or whatever it is, the appropriate thing, but do say that so that the person knows they were heard, and then you can give any further communication. Um, this is universal for any relationship in any capacity, not like marriage, dating, whatever, but also like at work, like sales cycles, whatever you want, you need to acknowledge people because it makes a huge difference in how you communicate with somebody. Absolutely. Next point, since we are on the topic of saving a marriage or saving a relationship, is if someone's telling you something, even if it's not necessarily the best news or they're telling you something that they felt bad about, a mistake they made, don't get mad. Yeah. Again, it's part of that listening and acknowledging, but really just make the effort to like, ah, take a deep breath, be calm, hear what they have to say, acknowledge them in a chill manner. I cannot tell you how much extra emotion and drama that this will save the both of you in any relationship, but particularly in the marriage, yeah. especially in the marriage that might be on the rocks that you're actually trying to salvage. Yeah. Just don't get mad. Easier said than done sometimes, I get that. Make that effort, it will save you so much extra time, I promise. The other thing is that the foundation of the marriage or any relationship period is based on a trust factor. Yeah. So if the person, like I do the same thing with staff, if somebody screws up on something, um, okay, cool, I got it, no problem. And then what are we gonna do about it? And that's it, like literally, that's it. It's not, you, you have to make it safe for the person to do that because if not, what ends up happening, consciously or unconsciously, is that somebody tells you something, you get really mad at them, and then do you really think they wanna tell you again? I mean, this applies to kids, it applies to everything. So totally. you have to make it safe and okay. Next point is more communication. You can always communicate to resolve situations, but keep on communicating. Like we've had times where, like, let's say there was some issue or rub or whatever that we had going on, and we're like, you know, I, I don't feel good about that, and there's something weird or whatever. We continued communicating about it. Yeah. Um, on and on and on and on and on until we actually got a resolution, like we were both totally okay. And that does mean sometimes you have to just get over trying to be right or like, yeah. you know, trying to play weird games. Like if my intention is to make her feel bad, then you're gonna keep talking about it until you're blue in the face. I mean, literally you're gonna be talking about it forever because yeah. either the person's not gonna feel bad or they are gonna feel bad and then you feel bad for making them bad <laughs> and now you're trying to justify why you were trying to make them feel bad and you're like, well, because they did this other thing. And when you start getting into name 
name calling, pointing, fingers and all this kind of stuff and it's your fault, then you're literally missing the whole point. So just literally continue communicating until you have a resolution. Yeah, and decide that you actually want to come to a resolution because that that is gonna be key for both of you. If you guys actually want to resolve it, yeah. you just keep talking until it's resolved. The next point is as you continue to communicate, you then want to build on that communication. So talking about common interests, the things that brought you two together in the first place, whether it's a romance, a friendship, a marriage, a working relationship, once you have whatever issue resolved, if you were resolving an issue, now talk about the things that you both like, because that's just gonna build more agreement and more friendship and more connection between the two parties involved. That goes whether you're handling an argument or not. Just finding points of common interest and continuing to communicate about that is always good and keeps friendships and relationships going. Yeah, really. for sure. <laughs> like even if you've been, even if you had a relationship for a while or a friendship, right? And you, you're maybe you're having having problems for a little while. The other thing you may find is just with continued communication that there are points of reality that you guys have that are things you didn't know. Like yeah. sometimes maybe you just found out something new about the person. You're like, oh cool, I didn't even know that. Um, and so look for ways that you can find new points of reality with them. Exactly. And this is just a little uh, story that I think is cool. We have um, some friends. They've been married for I don't know, probably close to 20 years, and they. They shared something that was really cool. He, as one of the things that he strives to do every week is find something new about his wife that he has never noticed before. And I just thought that was a really cool way of keeping things fresh, keeping that create going, constantly learning new things about each other. And we do that as well. Yeah. And it's just that point of like paying attention, being in communication, noticing those points, talking about those points, and keeping the relationship alive. So that was just a little extra I wanted to share because I thought it was cool. It is super cool. <laughs> All right, guys, well, go ahead and subscribe right down there. And if you're not subscribed, then subscribe. And if you are subscribed, then subscribe. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> then share this video with somebody else you think it can help. Let us know how these points help you in your life. Even if it's something small, just let us know. Did it help you? Like, pick a friend or a relationship or a partner or whatever. And apply one point and let us know, how did it go? All right guys, we'll see you in the next one. You're amazing. Bye. Bye.